Comic J. So, uh, lawyer, your girl throws shoes at you? That's what you're saying? Got some advice for you. Give us some dick. <laughs> And Rachel, uh, I thought you weren't going to tell him about our date. thought we were going to keep that secret. I'm the Jew she dated for three years. Jew doing comedy, who would have thought it, huh? No, I'm just kidding, but I am Jewish. Um, they say uh, drugs, not hugs, but you know, if it's ecstasy, you get both. Anyone here smoke pot? Yeah! Come on, make some noise! That's right, I don't smoke pot. Um, I'm afraid to get drug tested, but man, they put some courage in that shit nowadays because potheads ain't afraid of shit. You guys come to work stoned. Like, I'll be sitting there, I'll walk up to you and be like, yo, Dapper, did you get baked at lunch? And you'll be like, no, no, why, what, why are my eyes red? And I'm like, well, now that you mentioned it, yes, but you've also been staring at that wall for half an hour. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, my friend Bo, he's a big pothead. He had the same job for about 10 years, but he lost the job. He kept the weed. And I went over to his house, and he's loading a bowl. And I'm like, dude, uh, aren't you afraid at your next job? You're going to get tested? And he's like, nah. I'll just go online, buy some synthetic urine again. That fucked up our friendship. I don't have the courage to ask this guy, if you've had the same job for a decade, why are you buying synthetic urine again? <laughs> but speaking of again, uh, that asshole George Zimmerman was in the news again. Wanted to do a celebrity boxing match. We're getting real loose on this term celebrity. If ruining someone's life makes you a celebrity, then my ex-wife is the last Kardashian. Her ass is big enough. But uh, yeah, he wanted to do a celebrity boxing match and a lot of people stepped up. Stevie Wonder stepped up. How big of a pussy do you have to be that the blind think they can beat your ass? I mean, yeah, sure, he's got better head movement. But he's going to have a problem keeping his eye on the prize. <laughs> now, DMX, on the other hand, stepped up, and I'm not a violent guy. I'm pretty much a borderline pacifist, but I want to see DMX pass a fist to that fucker's face. I want to see him beat him until candy comes out. Yeah, I, I'm just confused. Does he think he gets to bring the gun with him? <laughs> so, yeah, um... And then he did, after all that was said and done, he used that, uh, the, when he got out of court, he used that cop out that only God can judge me. Um, really, because I thought the first commandment was, thou shalt not kill. And, no, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Okay, man, you laugh. That's good. But uh, I'm an atheist, so guess what, motherfucker? I get to judge the shit out of you. Okay? Now, my parents are really religious. They're Mormon, and my stepdad hates that I'm an atheist. He always tries to argue with me about evolution. And he's always, when he gets madder and madder and madder, eventually he starts stomping around telling me, well, I didn't come from a monkey. Really, you're trying to convince me by that, by uh, screaming, wait, throwing your arms and throwing shit, right? <laughs> Dating as an atheist is also really weird because eventually I'm going to run into a religious girl. Statistically, there's a lot more religious than, not, than atheists. And I'll be talking to him and I'll get some real weird shit out of him. Like, I had one girl talk to me, she's like, one sentence she's like, oh yeah, I'm crazy in bed. I love sucking cock. I love taking it in the ass. And then the next sentence she's like, and Jesus has me blessed so much with his love. <laughs> Girl, I don't believe that's what he meant when he said, child, come unto me. <laughs> I had another girl. She was, uh, we were talking, we were getting flirty, and we started talking about all the crazy shit, because I'm a kinky motherfucker. I'll just throw that out there. I'm kinky as shit. And she started talking to me. She's like, you know... And I'm like, hey, baby, I start telling her all the stuff I'm into. And she's like, well, how do you do that with God watching? <laughs> baby, I like to show off. <laughs> now, all you girls, start fucking the nerdy, geeky guys. Stop with the cool guys. Cool guys are smooth, relaxed, laid back. AKA, they don't give a shit. Nerdy guys, we obsess over things. We figure out how everything works. So, yeah, the first time you take me home, I'm be a little timid. But next week, we're coming back with a pair of big old fucking earmuffs. We're going to take you in your bed, we'll lay you down. We're going to enter the bridge of your enterprise. Once those thigh slaps shut, 
Oh, what? We got the head we got the headband to stop the force. And it'll tickle your thighs a little bit. Two days later, when you wake up from your cum coma, I'm standing over you with the bagel you like and the coffee you like, because while you were passed out, I was researching your Facebook history. I noticed your eating habits. Okay. Oh yeah, and guys, don't leave the nerdy girls out. Don't leave the nerdy girls out, okay? Any guys here when you were younger and you got that crush on Princess Leia in the slave outfit? Wonder Woman? Nerdy girls got that outfit at home. She's waiting to ass to put it on. She's brushed up on the character. Anyone ever thought about fucking a girl with a lightsaber dildo? I've done it! I use the red one too, not the green one, because I'm a Jedi on the streets, but I'm a Sith in the sheets. And it makes the fucking noise! You turn it on, it's all... When I got done, I was like, man, my cock be in you. Thank you, I'm Jay. Look me up on Jay Stands Up on Facebook. <laughs>